hello guys welcome back to our channel first we'll be achieving this bubble you see on the screen here and these are my measurements so i use my material sequence six yards of material i didn't use all i had a sequence which i got half a yard and my tape and scissors so first of all we'll be folding our material into four we'll be using the horizontal part that's the width of the material we'll fold it into four since the bubble is going to be for a very tall person we'll be using 60 inches plus two inches for the hem I'm try, trying to arrange it to make sure that I have no lap anywhere. After laying your material flat on the floor, you start with your measurement. See, four sides. So we'll be, we'll be taking our measurement on the folded parts. The first thing you do, measure your shoulder, which is seven inches. Then I had to check for the length. Since the person is a tall person, I decided to use the whole tape measurement. Which is 60 plus, let's say 3 inches or 2 inches. So I measured my neck and that's 3 inches. And I just cut it. I went down by 1 inch for the neck depth for the back and then I notched it. So I measured the sleeve, I went down by 1.5 inches. So I'll make, I'll cut from the shoulder, from the neck all the way down to that one and a half inches. And that's to help, you know, we don't have a straight shoulder, our shoulder is slanted and that's to help for the shoulder slope. So after getting my full length, I decided to cut out material the, the, the one I'll be using I'll cut it out and keep the remaining aside so I measured my center back to the sleeve where I want this wrapper to stop this the gown to stop and then seeing the measurement now went down for the sleeve width i decided to use nine inches to make enough allowance for my hand and also not to allow so much exposure under my armpit then i went down for the pocket I went down by 10 inches to make room for the pocket and the desired width of the dress, I went around, measured my round hip measurement and added 3 inches. And that gave me the width of the booboo. It's not going to be tight, it's going to be a very free booboo. So, I'll draw the pocket. This gown is going to be an attached pocket. Going to come with an attached pocket. So I measure the width of the material all the way down. At this point, I decided to do a free drawing. Not it's not very straight at the midpoint, but just a little bit shapey, just to make room for my steps as I move. 
in case it becomes too tight so after drying all of that i cut out the design cut out the body there's a pocket here i made room for the pocket went in there if you look at it if you look at it now you discover that the shape is already coming out so this is it so in total now we have four pieces Okay, so we're going to keep one aside and then cut the sequence for the front. So this is half a yard of sequence. And I want the design of the sequence to go down below the pocket. So measuring it, I just placed it on the fabric and cut the desired length I wanted it was what I wanted I notched the the middle to match the center back to match the center of the bubble and then pinned it okay at this point I was pinning and I discovered that oh why am I even pinning the wrong side to the to face up and leave the the right side facing down after thinking about it i just unpinned it and flipped it over because at this point i want to cut the shape you see on the front part of the bubble so it's wise to make it face up after that i measured from the neck to the shoulder of the sequence to see whether it was going to overlap my shoulder and it didn't so I just continued and then decided to just cut a slanty design that will match the type I, I saw so in the measurement I just went to try it to cut it and one thing I noticed working with this sequence material sequence is really stretchy being my first time working with it I spattered with it a little bit and I think the next time I'm going to work with it it's going to be better so I described it was stretchy and I was battling with my scissors to cut it. Next time, I'm, I think I'm going to iron an interface between so that it will make it firm and easy to work with. Okay, so that's the shape. At this point, I wanted to measure it to get the center properly to make sure it is even on both sides so that i can cut the neck so i'm going to be using doing a v-neck and a v-neck because it will give enough room for the head to pass through the dress and because v-neck was what i saw on the on the design so i wanted to replicate it as much as i Good. so that's what i'm doing right now you can see that i used six inches six inches for the v-neck i think later on i added one inch because after joining the shoulder and joining after joining my shoulder, I discovered the neck was a little bit small, so I added one more inch, which made it seven inches. 
So at this point, it was I cut six inches depth and it was three inches for the width. So after cutting, my front piece is ready. As you can see, you see it a perfect V, a wonderful design of the sequence. My pockets are intact and this is the back piece placing it to see how perfect my neck is it came out really really perfect and i loved it thank you so much guys for watching my next video will be a drawing video please subscribe bye thank you